Hi water signs and welcome back to my channel, the Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters and this is your water sign astrology spirit animal reading for the month of April. Now this is something new to the channel so that I hope you really enjoy it and I hope it brings a lot of positivity and love into the world because as a six delineum Libra, that's what I'm all about. It's about bringing love and positivity to everybody in the universe and I also feel a lot of energy that comes from the universe and right now I think people are vibrating on a very high vibration. It's almost screeching sounding. It's almost like chalk on a board. And it's a frequency that's that I want to kind of tone down. And I want you guys as water signs to come together and really heed this message. It's going to be about your spirit animals and how you can better connect with them, about how you can connect to your psychic abilities and to your esoteric abilities and your mystical connection to the universe and how you co-create your universe and I know that water signs right now are probably feeling what is going on right now with the coronavirus harder than anyone I got some that reading that I did last month for Scorpio I could see that it was like really on the Scorpio's minds so I, I can feel that you guys need to you know have an uprising I feel like tidal waves are coming but I think that what we want to do is we want to smooth out that water, get those tidal waves, and get that those waves, you know, feeling a lot more smooth and looking a lot more smooth and rippling out into the universe with this really uh, toned down vibration. And the frequency needs to be flattened out a little bit, just like some other things that we know need to be flattened out. Okay, so if you're in a particular situation right now and you feel super di uh, distracted uh, from what your goals are. I want to do this reading to bring you back to your higher self, okay? So the first card that I'm going to pick, and I've used, you know, this water stone here, the first to give the card some energy. So the first card that I'm going to pick is going to be talking about whatever situation you're going through right now, whether it's um, a love relationship that you're uncertain about, or whether it's a career, or whether it's money, or whether it's um, something that you're trying to achieve and a goal that you feel like you got set back on. We're going to talk about that. The first card we're going to, you know, explore is going to be how, you know, you can see your situation right now and how the spirit animal can help you become your higher self. And then the next card that we'll talk about is going to be um, what spirit animal do you need uh, to change? It's going to help you change or go into a certain direction that you need to go into. And that is going to help you with your situation and make your situation better. And then last, re lastly, we're going to look at a card um, that's going to talk about what will happen if you don't um, change directions or if you don't um, try to tap into your higher self right now. And that card is going to be sort of what you're focusing on right now and what won't change. And then we're also going to use that last card to learn how to, to evolve. And then once we evolve, or once, you know, my water signs get together and evolve, you know, my Pisces, and then I have uh, my Cancers, and then I also have my Scorpios. Once you guys get together and um, come up with this collective uh, energy, what it's going to do is it's going to radiate out into the world. And I think that this is really necessary because when we talk about the planets and we talk about them all being in Capricorn right now, you can see that there's like this economic warfare kind of going on. Like, you know, our whole country could be really affected by this coronavirus. And I think that um, the planets being so close and conjunct to each other also in Capricorn, what that's doing is creating sort of a chaotic situation because not all planets like to be in the same realm together. They actually can have negative aspects to each other that can be causing some chaos. And so with water signs coming together, what you're going to be able to do is put your energy and your strength into the world and you're going to be able to help um, heal what's going on, heal the universe. And that's what you are really good at as those water signs are, is this healing nature, this, um, ability to see things as they are, see into the future, and to kind of calm the storms. You guys are very good at that. So what we're going to do is go through these cards and then see what happens. You can make this situation that you're going, or you could look at these cards as for a lot of situations. It could be something small you're going through. Well, not small, but a relationship. When I say small, I mean like in your micro world, 
that kind of thing. Or you can bring it to a universal level of what, you know, what these spirit animals are trying to tap in and tell you on a universe, a, a universe level, okay? So with all of that, let's get started and we are going to find out what's going on. So some of the uh, animals, I don't know everything about them, but I have read a bunch of these cards and uh, what I can say is that they're really good for like face value. You can kind of tell what's going on within the story just by what is written on the cards. And if there's any particular animal that I don't know about, I might look it up just to see what else is going on, but it may not be necessary either. But I can feel what's going on for water signs. I can already feel some Scorpio energy coming through here. Again, with a lot of concern, I can also feel Pisces energy. And okay, what I'm also feeling like that is that you guys have made some positive, um, some positive interactions with people lately. I can feel that. Okay, and for my cancers, I can feel um, that you guys have started some new relationships that are maybe working out. So I'm feeling good energy here, which is which is excellent as a start. Okay, so let's let's see what you guys are about. Let's see what you water signs are about. I'm going to do these three cards, and we're going to find out. Okay, so the first one is what is going on with you in your situation, and what spirit animal can bring you, you know, to your higher self and lead you in that direction and make you feel better about your situation or propel you forward in your situation, okay? So the first card, ooh, this is a good one, the dolphin spirit. Dolphin spirit is amazing, okay? So that is um, this and that are true. This and that are true. Okay, so when it says this and that are true, what it's talking about is, the, is like the duality of life. And it's saying that in a way that whatever decisions you guys are struggling over right now or whatever situation that you're struggling within, it's not an either or situation where you feel like where you're going to make a bad decision. Um, it's saying that you have this freedom right now to make whatever decision you feel is right and you're going to be able to turn that situation um, into something positive no matter what you decide. Okay. Um, so also, you know, with this duality, um, we think about um, a lot people who can be under See, see, the dolphins, they live underwater, but they're mammals, okay? So they have a duality within themselves. It's like if you and I were trying to, you know, breathe underwater, um, we would have to come to the surface and we would have to come up for air just as they do, okay? So what it's trying to say is right now in your current situation, you need to understand that nothing is going to be uh, bad about your situation. So you need to come up for air and you need to think, you, you need to just breathe and let it happen okay you you it, it's almost like you're submerged in this situation you're you're and you're thinking about it so hard and you just need to come up for air you need to be able to breathe it in and you have to know that whatever decision you make with this situation right now it's going to be positive because you are a determined person and you're going to make it positive okay and cancers you guys are known for that you're known for letting things you know sort of really bring you down whether it's something that someone said um, it can really hurt your feelings or whether um, you're putting yourself down it can hurt your feelings and then or, or you're always worried that you're going to hurt the other person because you're also very empathic yourself and so this is saying come up for air don't worry so much about it um, you need to really think about you need to give yourself a break. You need to not let other people affect you. You need to not take on so many burdens. And for you, Scorpios, what you guys want to do, you guys always have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And you always feel so responsible for everyone else. And you feel like you basically are the fabric that hold, holds everyone together. And that is true to a lot of extent. You guys are very strong people. So it's, it's only natural. Um, for other people to turn to you, but don't feel like you have to have all the weight on the world. Don't feel like your decisions are going to be the end all be all, or if you make the wrong decision that it's going to affect everyone else. Like, don't worry so much. Come up for air. Think about, you know, 
how you, even if you make the bad decision, like even if you, the worst case scenario happens, it's still going to be something that's going to be good that comes out of it, okay? And then when we talk about Pisces, um, you guys turn into yourselves a lot and, you know, you submerge yourself into your own world, into your own feelings. And Pisces, I want you to come out of that. I want you to bring all of your good nature um, up to the surface so that other people can see it so that because you guys have uh, so much wisdom to impart to other people. So you're, you're very kind. You're very smart. You have a lot of wisdom. And we all need to see that. We not all need to hear that. So uh, Pisces, never let, you know, keep everything so closed off and within because without expressing yourself, you're, you're actually, not, um, there's, how can I say it? You, you have so many gifts to give, but without expressing yourself, no one ever sees it, okay? So I don't know how that translates into whatever situation you're going through right now. Maybe it's just something you need to express and you need to, just come to the surface and express it, okay? That's what I feel like in this particular reading. So that's a beautiful, I love that card. And that's also a dolphin. I mean, we're talking about water signs here. So, you know, that's that's an excellent spirit animal to have in your reading, okay, is your own water sign, right? Your own water animal. Okay, perfect. Maybe we'll get some more water animals. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so this next card is like what I was telling you before is going to be uh, what direction do you need to go in now that you have um, this ability to come to the surface to understand the duality of life understand that there's not a wrong decision or a right decision that you can make the best out of your decision what so which way do you go okay which way do you want to go so let's just find out what spirit animal is there for you okay so <laughs> this is the vulture spirit okay and it says nothing is wasted okay nothing is wasted and that's an interesting card. It does have a crown on it. So now we're talking, you know, again, it, I mean, some symbolism could be have something to do with, you know, Corona, but I probably won't try to make that much of a literal connection in this particular reading. But um, what vultures are doing is looking out. OK, so they they are capitalizing or capitalizing on the misfortune in some ways of others. OK. And. So what this is telling me is, like, you may see this as something as misfortune to one person, but it's actually an advantage to someone else. So when we're looking at this particular card and it says nothing is wasted, what that means is, again, back to this decision that you're trying to make, um, even if you think it could turn out or the situation could turn out bad, um, nothing that your choice is not wasted okay your choice is going to like I said in the first card it's there's a duality to it there's no right or wrong to it and your decision is not going to be wasted either way that's what makes sense to me in this particular card is that if it's if if there's misfortune coming your way because of a decision you make there's someone else even your even later down the road it could be an advantage to you. So sometimes we have to fall before we can get back up. Sometimes a door has to close before another one opens. So that's what this is telling me right here. Um, and it also tells me that you're looking, that you're looking for, and you're looking over a situation and you're trying to decipher, you know, what is best and how can you, how can you uh, make a good decision? It could be something like, I'm almost, almost feeling like, a lot of you guys are worried about um, investments right now, or maybe even your savings or some numbers that you're looking at. And I feel like you're watching over it and you're trying to make these decisions. Well, it, I feel like with these cards, it's telling me there is no right or wrong there. You just have to make a decision and then you have to see how that decision works out for you. And just because it could be a bad one, it doesn't mean that it, it, it won't change down the road. Just like you know, the guy, it, it's like an old proverb, you know, it, when the guy got, gets his horse stolen, one guy comes up to him and goes, isn't that terrible that you had your horse stolen? And he goes, if you say so. And then this whole story plays out. And every time something good happens, the guy comes back and reports. And then another thing happens, it's bad. And he's like, if you say so, and things just keep evolving and working out. So that's what is going to happen here. Nothing's going to be wasted. 
every experience that you have and every decision you make is going to lead you, you know, to the next step of what you need to do. So don't worry, nothing is being wasted, your decisions, your thoughts, your hard work, um, whatever it is that you're looking at, nothing is going to be wasted. So this is kind of all falling into the same line together, okay? And there's a touch of like worry about Corona. So maybe there is something going on there, okay? I'll just say it. Maybe there's something going on there with maybe the stock market or something that you're looking at or your savings you're worried about. I mean, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So now this last card that we're going to pull over is going to be, um, again, what is what you're kind of stuck on and then how you need to evolve and what and how you're going to stay stuck if you don't go ahead and heed the advice of this spread, okay? So let's turn it over. The wolf spirit. Ooh, what a nice card to have, right? The wolf spirit. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, and this is turn knowledge into wisdom. That still seems to fall in line with what has been going on with this entire story. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Whenever you make this decision um, about your current situation, whenever you decide to come to the surface, whenever you need to, um, you know, breathe this air and, and whatever it is that you're looking at, I'm sorry about that noise. My dog um, keeps trying to get out the door and there's that little uh, springy thing on there and he keeps batting it because that's like his way of saying I, I want out, but uh, it's okay because uh, my partner's in there and he'll be all right to take care of him. But anyways, back to the story. Okay, so with the wolf spirit, it says turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay, so what we're talking about here is you're really focused on something. You're really trying to think about something. You have a lot of knowledge about a particular um, uh, piece of information. Well, you have a lot of knowledge in a lot of pieces of information, but you're so afraid to um, use your own instincts and you're so afraid to uh, do the things uh, to bring you forward or to bring or you're not trusting yourself that is the that is the message that I'm, I'm feeling you're not trusting yourself which is really strange uh, for cancers and well not really for cancer sometimes you guys can second guess yourself a lot but for Scorpios you know what needs to happen. So execute, that's all it needs, you know, and if it's the wrong decision, what is going to grow out of whatever decision you make is wisdom. And that's what's happening here. Pisces, the same thing. Um, I really feel like you need to express yourself and you need to give your wisdom to the world. I was talking about that earlier because um, there's so much inside of you that's so much to give. So you guys really just Go ahead and take the plunge. Make the decision that you thought you were supposed to make. Let the cards play out. Let, you know, case sarah, sarah. That's what is going on here, okay? And just come up for air. Just go ahead and pull the trigger and, and, and have a release. And I feel like once you do, once you have this release, the, the water that I was talking about with, you know, everything that's like a, a wave right now and tidal waves and all that stuff it's all going to calm down it's all going to feel better everything is going to be better after the aftermath and you guys are just going to be able to take that breath and you're going to be able to breathe and then you're just going to sit back okay and you're going to watch what happens okay lots of people may you may feel like oh, the weight of the world is on you lots of people are looking out for you to make the right decision but it's going to be right no matter what that's what I'm getting from these cards. It's going to be right no matter what. So, um, again, I feel like after I did the air sign and now I've done the water sign, what I'm feeling is that these are growth cards. This is a growing month for you. And, what, and of course, April is a growing month. It's when you're planting a seed. It's when you're making that decision and you're going to watch it grow. You're going to watch what happens to it. And then in the month of May, you're going to see, you know, the outcome. And it could also have a lot to do with what's, what's going on in the world around you. But once you um, have this release and you, the dams open and the water rushes out, everything's going to get smoother. It's going to smooth out. And then your collective energy is also going to change the energy that's going on right now in the universe between all the planets. Um, I really feel like there's some negative aspects going on with the planets right now. And so we need this release and in having this collective release is going to bring a lot of positivity into the world and you guys are going to calm the waters. And so if also um, if you want, you can go back and look at the um, air sign reading because that 
reading is all about like clarity and balance and fairness and what Libras need. Um, I'm sorry, what air signs, which have, you know, Libras are included in that, what they can bring to the world so that you can kind of get a sense of how this whole entire picture fits together. Okay. So thank you, Water Signs, for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please subscribe. Please share the video. Um, please leave a comment. And, you know, I love comments. This is a young channel, so I am trying to grow it. And I, you know, the more I get to know my audience, the more I can help bring you guys better readings, the more I can learn about you. So I'd really love some feedback because, um, and also you can write to me at AskJenniferWinters.com or if you want any relationship or dating advice, you can always look up my books um, from the Zodiac Love Code. Uh, dot com website. All right. So thank you so much. And I hope to see you later this month for your monthly tarot reading. Okay. All right. See you later, water signs. Um, don't forget, come up for air. Bye.